Hello, welcome back. All right, new lesson today, still 10.5. There was a lot of things in this section. I'll be using these highlighters if you want to highlight along. All right, so we have two different lessons here. Let's just cut it in half and put the right side in the pocket page. We will do that one next week. Okay, this lesson, these concepts look very similar to previous ones um, that we were just doing last week. So these right here with the intersecting chords and secants and tangents. And these were all dealing with angles and arcs. Now the new section is just segments. So if you look at all these problems, notice that there's no degrees. None of these are angles. They're all segments, pieces of the lines, the, um, the secants and the tangents. So there's new formulas to figure out the lengths of the segments. First scenario we're looking at is when you have intersecting chords or secants inside the circle. So we have one chord, AB. I'm going to make that yellow. And the other chord, CD. So when you have segment lengths, you have to follow this setup. So we're going to do the pieces of the same chord, A and B, are going to be multiplied, A times B. <clears throat> and that equals the segments of the other chord multiplied, C times D. So this will be the setup you'll have to follow for numbers one and two. So you're going to take the pieces of the same segment and multiply them together. Sorry, I'm just getting situated here. Okay. So we have the yellow parts, A and B multiplied together, equals the pink parts, C times D. All right, another scenario we're going to be practicing is intersecting secants outside the circle. So instead of intersecting inside the circle, now they're touching outside the circle. So there is another formula we need to follow. So A and B are on the same secant, C and D are parts of the same secant. So to set this up to solve, we are going to take the outside segment, A, multiply it by A plus B, the entire line. So notice it's a piece on the outside being multiplied by the sum of the segments that make up the secant. Same thing for the pink one. We're going to take C. So this is equal to C times C plus D. So that would be the setup you have to follow for this scenario. We're using the parts from one secant, adding them together, multiplying by the outside piece, 
and equaling that to the other secant, the same setup. So that's how you'll solve number three and number four. All right, the last scenario, intersecting secant and tangent outside the circle. So now we have a tangent line that just hits the circle on one spot. So all we have for that yellow line is A. And then we have another secant. Now B and C are on this secant. So it's kind of similar. For the tangent, however, we're just going to square whatever that is. So we'll have A squared equal to B times B plus C. So this part is very similar to the secants over here. Take the outside piece, multiply it by both the pieces added together. But for the tangent, all you're doing is taking that one piece that you have and squaring it. So that's how um, five and six are going to be solved. All right, so I'll do the evens. You guys will do, sorry, sorry, I'll do the odds. You guys will do the evens. <clears throat> and we don't have school on Monday. So I will offer extra credit to anyone that turns it in by Tuesday at midnight. And then the final due date will be Wednesday at 4. I'm kind of changing it up a little bit to avoid giving out so many 75s. <laughs> okay, let's put this into practice. So number one, you have intersecting chords. So I'm just going to highlight the chord pieces. So this chord is made up of 27 and x plus 5. So with this scenario, we need to multiply them. We're going to do 27 times x plus 5 equal to the other chord is made up of 24 times x plus 7. So those are the pieces of that chord. We have our yellow multiplied to each other and the pink multiplied to each other. All right, that's the geometry. Understanding that you have this situation, so therefore you need to follow this formula. The rest is just algebra. So we're going to distribute 27. 27 times 5, 135, equal that to 24x plus, ready space, 168. And then we will just solve for x. So I'm going to subtract the 24 x over the equal sign, 23x, or sorry, 27. So that will give us 3x plus 135 equals 168. Track the 135. So we have 3x equals 33. <clears throat> Divide by 3. X is 11. So you'll solve number 2 in the same way. So identify the parts of the chord that are going to be multiplied and set it up the same way. All 
All right, number three is two secants. So we're going to follow the setup right here in the middle. Same for number three and number four. We're going to take the piece on the outside, multiply it by the two segments added together, and then do that for the other secant as well. So piece on the outside times the two segments multiplied or added together. <sighs> okay, so we have eight and three x plus four seven and five x plus two so our setup we're going to do eight times eight plus three x plus four So multiplying the outside piece, 8 times the pieces added together, 8 plus 3x plus 4. Same for the pink side. We're going to do 7 times 7 plus 5x plus 2. So that was the yellow secant. This is the pink. All right, before I distribute, I think we should go ahead and combine the like terms, which if you can skip to this step, that's perfectly fine. This is really going to be 8 times 3x plus 12 because of the 8 and the 4 being added together. And I really didn't give myself enough space. And this is going to be 7 times 5x plus 9 because of the two and the seven being added together. So now let's distribute. We'll have 24x plus eight times 12, 96 equals 35x plus 9 times 7, 63. Now we'll solve for x. I like to move the smaller x over, so I'll subtract the 24x from the 35x just to avoid negatives. So I'll bring down that 96 equals 11x plus 63 minus the 63 over and we get 33 again this time it's 11x so divide by 11 and x is 3 so that's all the algebra that's just all algebra the geometry is understanding that you take the outside piece multiply it by both of the pieces add it together for each secant. Number four will be solved the same way. Remember, if your paper doesn't print out like this, um, you can always pause in the video before I write um, all over the problem to see what the problem actually looks like. I know some of you are having issues with the formatting when you're printing, so just keep that in mind. Okay. Number five and number six is when we're dealing with a tangent. So we have just this piece of this line, 16. And then we also have a secant. So whenever we have secants, we're gonna do the outside times the whole thing. And a tangent is that number squared. So we're gonna have 16 squared equals eight times eight plus 5x minus 1. So combine these like terms, 8 minus 1 is 7. So this is really 8 times 5x plus 7. So let's figure out what 16 squared is. 256 
equals distribute 40x plus 56. That's distributing the 8. Minus the 56. I'll have 200 equals 40x. 200 divided by 40 gives us x is 5. So you'll solve number 6 in the same way. All right, so those are our new um, properties for intersecting uh, chords, secants, and tangents. Not dealing with angles, dealing with segment lengths. Alrighty, let me know if you guys have any questions. Bye.